SpaceX will no longer make Crew Dragon capsules and NASA delays the launch of its first tourism mission to the ISS. So this headline kind of sounds bad on the surface, but it actually marks a huge milestone in reusability. Yes, it's confirmed that SpaceX has ended production of Crew Dragon capsules. These of course transport astronauts back and forth from the International Space Station. We learned Monday that SpaceX will instead reuse the fleet of four capsules already made. Crew Dragon is the first private spacecraft to take humans to the ISS, and it's capable of carrying up to seven passengers. Since its debut, Dragon capsules have taken humans to space five times. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell told Reuters that they are finishing their final capsule, but they are still manufacturing components because they will need to refurbish the existing capsules. After each flight of a Crew Dragon, the spacecraft must go through a refurbishment process in Florida, and this is where certain hardware is tweaked to make the vehicle flight ready again. We've also learned that there are more delays, not just with Starship. Now we know that the FAA expects their environmental review to be completed by April 29th. It was supposed to be at the end of March. That has been delayed but also the SpaceX X-1 astronaut mission to the space station was also delayed. I was planning to go to that launch. I've never seen a launch yet, so I was going to make that my first launch. That got delayed and my plans have changed. I'll actually be in Austin, Texas, at TeslaCon Texas during that, supposedly, when it's happening. But the Artemis 1 moon mission wet dress rehearsal is happening this weekend and this is pushing the AX-1 launch back. This will be the first all private crewed mission to the International Space Station. It's not gonna happen this weekend. They had been targeting Sunday, April 3rd, but on Monday, March 28th, NASA officially approved Friday, April 1st through Sunday for the critical wet dress rehearsal of its Artemis 1 moon mission. So this is just a practice session that's also taking place at the Kennedy Space Center. So AX-1 is getting pushed a few days. NASA, Axiom, and SpaceX are now looking at no earlier than April 6th for the launch of the Axiom mission, AX-1. AX-1 will use a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and a Dragon capsule to send four people to the International Space Station for eight days. Three of them are paying customers. The fourth is an Axiom employee, Michael Lopez Alegria. He's a former NASA astronaut who will be commanding that mission. SpaceX has another astronaut launch coming up. That is the Crew-4 mission. This will send three NASA astronauts and one European space flyer to the ISS for a lengthy stay. NASA and SpaceX had been targeting April 19th for Crew-4's liftoff. That remains the case despite the AX-1 delay, but as we know, these things can change. We learned that NASA will conduct the SLS wet dress rehearsal behind closed doors. There will be no independent media coverage. Never in the history of US human spaceflight has the press corps, the public, been left this much in the dark about a new NASA vehicle. That's what Stephen Young tweeted with Spaceflight Now. Some people are saying, well, it's not gonna be all that exciting. They're just filling up the vehicle with liquid. What is there to see? But other people are saying, well, we should see it since we are paying for it. So I wanna know from you, what do you think about this? I think it is a bit mysterious and kind of interesting to say the least that they are choosing this path instead of making this public and transparent. So what do you think in the comments? We also learned that the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is making great progress. They expect at least 60 launches this year. Starlink is also making progress. Now we know that over 5,000 terminals have been delivered and are in use in Ukraine. And globally, Elon tweeted that they're expecting over 4,200 Starlink satellites in operation within 18 months. This will be roughly two thirds of all active satellites of Earth. Again, I can't wait to share that video with you that I'm working on where I followed around Royce Bear. He is a super famous nighttime sky photographer. It was so amazing, obviously, just to look at the sky. It's so seldom that I actually get to see the stars because I'm usually in the city, um, but also to see how he captures those magnificent photos can't wait to share that video with you. If you're new to the channel, you won't want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe to Ellie in Space and I'll see you very soon. <music>